today we're going to go ahead and install the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 onto a Lincoln MKC. To do so, uh, you want to go ahead and position yourself near the vehicle hitch to uh, reduce stress on your back. Before we install, we want to confirm the fit. We have a 2 inch receiver on the hitch and a 2 inch receiver on the bike rack. Now, we are ready to install. You want to go ahead and pick up using two hands uh, with balance. Lift up, set the bottom edge of the rack into the hitch and then proceed to push it forward. You want to hold, align the hole with the second hitch hole on the receiver. Now that we've done, you're gonna go ahead and tighten up the knob. First, hand tight. Once you feel it's tight by hand, you wanna go ahead and use the provided uh, tool to give it a nice tight fit. This same tool is your lock pin, which you're going to insert through the previously mentioned hole and install the lock on the opposite end. To do this, you want to go ahead and make sure that you hold it from the opposite end to prevent accidental push out and then just insert. You're gonna hear a click. Once that click is made, you're gonna go ahead and uh, apply the dust cover over the keyhole to prevent any damage, corrosion, or rust. Uh, to remove the lock, you're gonna go ahead and insert the provided key into the lock by removing the dust cover. Insert the key, twist counterclockwise, it'll come out, and now the lock pin will also be removed. To remove the rack, you're gonna go ahead and loosen up the rack, and now it's ready to come out. Now that our bike is loose, using the same technique to install it, we're gonna go ahead, using two hands, remove it. Now, it's safe to keep it. Now that our bike rack is installed, we're ready to go ahead and pivot the rack to install our, rack, our bikes. You can either use your hands or your foot. When you're inserting the bikes, you want to make sure that you extend the folding arms outward. This is going to allow you to have access to put the bike on. And let's remove any straps in the way to allow the, rack, the bikes to go on. position our rack, our bike. You want it to be flush against uh, the end here. Now, with your bike being secured, make sure you hold your bike, bring up the hook, and push down. You want to go down as much as possible. Now that your bike is being held from the front, let's go ahead and strap the back. You want to position the rim, make sure that you have enough clearance for the straps and go down tight on the strap as well. Since in this model, we're only going to be installing one bike, there is no need for us to have this strap open, or for have to have this cover open. So we're gonna go ahead and close this, and close the hook as well. When you're using two bikes, you're gonna repeat the steps that we did for the first bike. So, for customers who want to get access to the trunk while having the bike on the vehicle, you wanna go ahead and pivot downward, making sure to support the weight as it goes down. Now, I'm going to open the trunk. Now we can go ahead and 
close our trunk and get ready to hit the road. Now that our rack is secured, we have all of our equipment in the vehicle, we're ready to hit the road. Before we do so, we want to go ahead and secure the rack. To secure the rack, we're going to go ahead and uh, apply the, in the uh, apply the provided cable lock through the frame of the bike, tire, or any other securing option, and insert the bike end into the bike lock support. And this completes the installation of a Sherpa 2.0 